Welcome back to Metal Heroes Review, episode 36. We're here reviewing episodes 29 and 30. And this is my official stopping point for the series for the moment. Until when I'm basically on break with these two episodes and come back when I finish up a few series. Oh, sweet. In the case of these two episodes, well... First one is, is quite fun, basically, because... They find out about a particular plot with Fuma, and the biggest thing in this one is that Annie is a master of disguise. Which, I should point out, though, this is the first female lead character in Metal Heroes ever to do this. This is common with Super Sentai, and my guess is Toy must have told him, Hey, can you have an episode where you have Annie, your female lead, do something that, 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 that the women of Sentai lo- love doing a lot? Which, at this point in time, would be a master disguise. Which, yes, they got a chance to do this episode. And, of course, it's about finding a particular base. of The, the whole thing about that, that, that is basically a one minor thread, this one. The biggest thing in this one is that, oh, Fuma's developed this clothing line for children and later on adults to make them do stuff that they shouldn't be doing. And apparently also cause children to leap in midair and survive a suicide attempt. Yes, seriously. Uh, Mass Disguise thing was the best thing about the episode. The episode is mostly put is an okay plot. It's just that, really? A freaking clothing line. For reasons. But, like any some okay episodes, the two best... This one has two really good things going for it. The action, and Annie being a master... Or at least a mistress of a, a mistress, oh, basically a master of disguise. Yep. 30 is also having children, but this time kidnapping children to the plan is pure and simple. Have them basically teleport to other planets. And basically the plan is to kidnap children from across the road, a.k.a. Japan, and basically sell them to other planets. And the thing is, that more plan they'll find something later. The viewer finds out a little bit after, before they, before the, before Annie does. So things start with Annie just out in the field, and apparently she overhears because of telepathic communication, because I think she has some ESP, so she can hear children crying and looking for kidnapped children. That's something that I plan to have a little bit later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I got a message here. But yeah, they do in fact find the kids. Takes a bit of time. Andy briefly gets kidnapped. And there's this hilarious bit, basically, where, like, oh, her community gets taken away, and then she gets out of the prison, and she, thanks to another one she had, which, by the way, is now black now. It goes to silver last episode because that got used to be an explosive. You have a, a changing room. And so they'll have a keep away from the from anything. Everybody just running around. This is a funny bit here where Miracle just pulls up one of the pulls up one of the skirts of one of the ninja girls. And he gets smacked for it. And another one gets smacked for having it on his head. Yep. And eventually this is one of those times where they don't go to the strange world. Nope. Not once is basically you'll hear strange world. And it's a strange world flow forth. Yeah. The monsters feed in the real world. But only like the third time in this series so far. Also in the case of 29. It is also the fourth time ever that we see... Yeah, the fifth time we see, uh, actually, yeah, the fourth time we see the battle formation. First time seen since the movie, so it's been a little while. But these two episodes are really fun, and I'm at the end of here because I had to go get some dinner, and I'll be back to work on the comic corner. Okay, next few, bye. Hello, 